right. Out on Lake Alaska today. Just trying some area I haven't fished before. And uh, I just dropped down. Only a second. As soon as I dropped it down there, this crappie hit. I'm currently sitting in 15, almost 16 feet of water. But uh, hopefully that's a, a sign of things to come. But uh, great start. We'll keep fishing and see what happens. I'm just using the uh, 32nd ounce BMC tubby jig with, with a single wax worm. Nice and heavy so you can get back down there fast. It's not too heavy where it hinders the action of the bait. But that fish hit right around 10 feet, I suppose. It's a great day to be out. There's maybe mid 20s for temperatures. Not real super warm, but the nice thing is there's no wind. And it's just been it's just been hard to record anything outside lately. I finally got a day that there's hardly any wind. It's not too cold, so I'll be able to sit outside and hopefully catch a few fish here. But I tend to like to focus on these fish higher up in the water column. I'll probably drill a bunch of holes today and just pop around and see if we can get something going by, by hole hopping. Just bumping around out here. I'm kind of right on the edge of the break, so um, I drilled three holes now. I was in that 15 to 16 foot range. Now I'm in seven and a half, and I just missed it. Felt like a good fish. This might, maybe this is the ticket to get a little bit shallower. More likely that these are bluegills than crappies in the shallower water. There we go. Finally hooked up. Looks like a better fish. Nice bluegill. Wow, look at that guy. Oh, here's a nice bluegill. Holy cow. That's one of my better fish of the year right there. I'm gonna go get my bump board and put them on there. And they've just been really finicky. This one came up and smoked it. I just kept moving shallower and shallower. Yeah. It's over nine. Nine and a quarter. Real nice bluegill. Hopefully get a few more and a decent meal. It's a good, good sign for things to come here. Hopefully that trend continues. Man, what a nice fish. That was exciting. Almost thought it was a bass at first just because of the way I was fighting. Another one. Another good fish. Really good fish. Ooh, not sure what I got here. That one's a bass. They're both bass. Alright, that's what I thought when I had that bluegill. We'll take them, that was fun. Anything that pulls on the line is good for me. Get that guy back. Yes, alright. This is turning out to be fun, all right. Fish. Okay. So guys, I'm just on a break. Uh, I'm just moving up and down this break. And uh, my big fish I caught was, was in shallower, but there's a, there's a bunch of fish down in the deeper water, but I got a feeling they're the smaller bluegills. But uh, I'm going to keep moving up and down this break, and uh, 
see what we can put together, but I got a hunch that the smaller fish are going to be in the deeper water and the bigger ones are up in, up near the weed bed in the shallower water. Boom. Little guy. Well, he's not too bad. Decent bluegill. Let that guy go. He came out of 11 feet of water. Came right up and nailed it. Fishing's been pretty slow here. And just keep moving around and picking up one here and there. The key is to just keep moving around. Keep a fresh bait on. Try some different baits. I'm doing mostly the waxworm thing right now. I feel like that gives me my best chance of getting inactive fish to bite. There's definitely plenty of fish around. Just got to find the ones I want to eat. There's one. That's a better fish. That one feels better. That's what we were looking for. Oh yeah. Nice crappie. Oh yeah, look at that. Really nice crappie. That one didn't hesitate at all. He was up a little bit higher. He's probably up five, five feet maybe. But really nice fish. Really nice crappie. I'll go put him on the bump board. Then I'm going to switch out cameras, my battery's almost dead, but beautiful fish though. About 11 and a half inch crappie. Oh, here comes one racing up after it. Holy smoke, is he coming fast. He's got, it. oh, 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 he had it. Let's see if he'll hit again. Man, did he rock it up. Got him. Good fish. It's gotta be a crappie. It's gotta be a bluegill. Nice bluegill. I'll go on the ice. Really nice fish. Oh, there's some good ones here. We're just having a hard time getting them to bite. It's a nice keeper. He's probably eight and a half. Be a little, a little less than that. Got him. Go. Dandy fish. And he just hammered it. Really nice fish. Maybe eight and a half. Good one. Nice fish. Nice bluegill. A little smelly jelly is all it took to get him to bite. Man, I pinned him. <clears throat> well, it's approaching about 5 o'clock right now. It's starting to get cold out. I put my extra layer on just to stay a little bit warmer here. Got my mittens on. Still beats being in the shack. I think I got five, I think I five or six fish so far. I haven't caught a lot of fish, but the quality of the fish has been real good. I'm still marking good number of fish. Just bopping around in, in about six, seven feet of water, then pushing out to 11, then trying out in 16. Just fishing up and down this break, 
and uh, I'm catching fish in, in uh, all depths. 11, the 11 foot range seems to be about the most productive. Although my biggest bluegill came in from shallow. I'm just gonna keep bopping around, hopefully get a few more here before it gets dark. Hopefully stay warm in the meantime. Got him. Oh, that smelly jelly made all the difference. Crappy. Nice. Nice crappy. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Fresh waxy and a little bit of smelly jelly made all the difference. He'll eat. So the way I got that last fish is I put a new wax worm on and I hook it just behind the, the head, just like usual. And then I take my smelly jelly. And I just rub it right down onto the wax worm. Just like that. And drop it down. And they were there before I could even get ready. I'm not going down very deep. I'm in 14 feet of water and that and I'm just fishing about halfway down. And that's where those crappies kind of hang out. There's there's sunfish also up higher too. But I haven't been going down to the bottom. Just staying up. I'm trying to lure those more active fish up to my bait instead of going down to them. I'm going to change holes again quick. Let's see if I can hit another quick one. I'm in 16 feet of water. Let's see if there's anything in the area quick. I'm not going to spend too much time in any hole right now. Fish are cruising, they're looking for food. And I just want to try and pick off some of these more active fish that are cruising around. There's a fish. He sees it. He sees it. Here he comes. It's a good looking mark. Got him. Oh man, I missed. He was on there. Oh, that was probably a crappie. I got my wax worm. So I'm going to repeat what I did before. I'm just going to hook them behind the head. Get my smelly jelly out. Get it right back down there. Hopefully there's another one right behind him. There is one mark down there. That was textbook. He came right in just like just like he should. Here comes another fish. He just smoked it. I just couldn't keep the hook in him. I mean, that's going to happen. I'm almost positive that was a crappie too. That's disappointing. That's alright. We're going to get some more here. we got some time to fish. Oh, he pegged him. So awesome. Giant crappie. Giant crappie. Look at that guy. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh my gosh. That, that was textbook. He did exactly what I wanted him to do. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. Oh, we got one on it right away.
Here he comes. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was painful. Oh, he hit it. He was there. Oh. This is so much fun. There we go, guys. Here's that last big crappie I got. Just a fuzz under 12. What a beauty. I've got plenty of fish now. Everything else I'm going to let go from here on out. But I had a pretty good day. Some really nice fish. I'm going to fish for a little bit more, see if I can get another crappie or two. But I got a great mess of fish there for a meal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three crappies, four sunfish. That's perfect for me. Got him. Looks like a crappie. Oh, it might be a bluegill. Here's a bluegill. Oh, it's a crappie. Nice crappie. Got them all wrapped up. Get that guy back. Nice fish. Boom. Nice crappie. Yeah, we'll refresh that bait. As soon as I put a new waxy on, put a fresh layer of smelly jelly on, this guy came up and cracked it. Makes all the difference in the world. We're running out of daylight. That was a great day of fishing. I don't know if I'll get any more fish here. It's kind of gotten really quiet, but really thank you guys for watching today, and I hope you liked the video. We'll see you next time. Hopefully catching more fish.